Hello, my name is Patty Rouse. I'm from Elizabethtown, Kentucky. I am uh, here um, as the official for the KHSA Region 2 Championships for Class A, 2A, and 3A at Efren White Park in Bowling Green. It's going to be a beautiful day here. Hopefully all of our Hardin County schools uh, run very well and end up being in the state meet next week at the Lexington Horse Park.
Hey, I want to say this is Coach Watts at the Region 2 Cross Country Meet down here in Bowling Green. Today I was super proud of my girls. They did exactly what I told them they could do on this day. I have two of them with me here today. First I have... I'm Liz Ricks. I'm the captain of the team. Allie Harden. What um, expectations? Oh, my expectations? Yeah, what was your expectations of the day? Oh, well, I was I was pretty happy with what the course looked like. I was I'm normally pretty nervous before, but then once I started running, it was it was pretty easy. I don't know. I didn't really get in my head that much. And I'm really really proud of what all the girls did. A lot of them PR'd, most of them did. And I couldn't be more proud of how they ran today, too. Yeah, I agree a lot with Liz. Like the course wasn't bad and the hills were pretty like flat. And I think everybody just wanted it a lot, and I think we all tried really hard. And also, I like to put it in there, I had all my girls PR, but I had one girl today PR by a whole three minutes, which was Emily. How do you pronounce her name? His skirt. She PR by three minutes today, and, but she's put the work in. All of my girls have put the work in for the last two weeks, and uh, I'm very extremely proud of them of what they did today. Thank you. Coach Dale here at the region for cross country. Uh, we just finished our girls came in as sixth place. I believe that we're going to have two girls go out, Hannah Grass and Julia Hobbs. A um, couple of PRs, big PRs today by the, uh, Julia and some other girls. Uh, just happy to be out here. Perfect weather, perfect day, so good times. I've got Julia Hobbs here. Julia, Hi. how did you feel about today's race? Felt fast. Fast? Mm, was yeah. it a PR? Yes. How much? By like 20 seconds. That's crazy. So, what does that mean you're going to do next weekend? Go to state. Woo! After that, what are you going to do? Run track? I don't know. <laughs> you're supposed to say, I'm going to Disneyland! I'm going to Disneyland! <laughs> well, I'm Anthony Miller, coach of the Grace County High School cross country team. To my left here is uh, senior Aiden Lee, junior uh, Ryan Higdon, and freshman Ava. Walker. <laughs> so we'll start with ladies first. Tell us about your run today, your experience. Um, it was a pretty good run for me. Um, I definitely had to kick it a lot like up the hills, but it was good. I passed uh, more girls than I expected, so it's a good course, honestly. I really like it, but it's tough. Yeah. Time-wise, was this your better time? Yeah, I PR'd. Um, it was 21.30 something. I couldn't quite recall, but yeah. It was good. Congratulations. And here's our senior, Aiden Lee. Tell us about your race today and your season. Uh, Aiden's also a soccer player, so he's just been limited with us, but he come through for us today. Yeah, this is like my fifth meet, I think, and I had like, I had a 50-second PR today, so I was pretty happy about it. Um, I, I was like, I was really nervous because, like, I don't know, I haven't ran a meet in a couple of weeks, but and I, I think I did pretty good. And then we have Ryan Higdon, our one of our juniors had a rough year, but how's your race today? Uh, it was one of the most mentally tough. Uh, it was awesome, though. I PR'd by 20 seconds, 17.36. So we've had a really good day today. Uh, our guys were uh, contending for one of the top five spots uh, to make the state next year, next week. Uh, we don't know yet, but we know it's pretty close, so we'll await the results. Uh, overall, I mean, Today's what we're looking for, is to have a good race today, and they all came through like they, they planned to. I'm uh, Coach Jackson from North Harden High School, here with uh, some of my runners from the North Harden team. Uh, I'm going to let them introduce themselves and uh, tell them how they actually how the season been going this year. Hi, I'm uh, Justin Bonham. I'm a senior. I'm Jesse Brewer. I'm a sophomore. Uh, uh, the, the season's going pretty well. We've had some ups and downs. But I think I think we did good today. We had our top five was in the 19s, but below 19, so I think we have a, a good chance of making the state. Yeah, so uh, we had a couple uh, hiccups throughout the season. A couple guys was bruised up. Uh, wanted to try to bring these guys in as fresh as possible today. Um, I know uh, Justin ran pretty well as well as uh, Jesse. So we're just hoping. Uh, to, to make it in. I think the results are getting ready to come in, so uh, appreciate you.
Hey, good morning. Uh, this is uh, Tim Pennington, Central Harden uh, head coach for the boys for cross country. Uh, we're here at the Ephraim White Park here in uh, Bowling Green, uh, getting ready to run the boys race. The girls just finished. So I'm hoping uh, that we can come away with some hardware. My boys have been working hard this year. Uh, you know, on paper, you know, we're looking like we're in a second or third place team. So, uh, but we've got to work a little bit harder. And I, if the boys are insp inspired today, we might be able to pull something off. So. Uh, we'll know a little bit later uh, this morning. And see. I am Larry Garner. I'm the head coach of the boys and girls cross country team at Meade County. Here with me I have Drew Elton and Alyssa Garcia. All right, Drew. What? How did you feel the race went today? Uh, I had a pretty good race. I went 18 flat, and I'm now our number four with Gone Varsity. And how did the boys finish today? First place in the region. Excellent. Alyssa, how did you do today? Um, I did pretty good. I had a 40-second PR, and I think our team worked very good together. And did the girls make it to state? Yeah. Absolutely. Um, the goal coming in this year was exactly what we wanted today. Um, we wanted the girls to qualify. They missed out last year. We wanted to get them back to the state meet where they deserve to be. Um, the boys were going for back-to-back -back region titles, and then they acquired that today, which was great. We had three guys inside the top seven. We had the individual regional champion and Mikey Carnell. Um, the guys ran well. I would say the girls ran fantastic. I mean, I saw some massive improvements on the girls' side. So overall, it was just a great day for me, County. Thank you guys for coming out for the uh, cross country regional championship for uh, class, uh, region two, class 3A. Turned out to be a beautiful day and we had some fast times on the course. I hope everyone enjoyed the spectator area. We've tried to open it up as much as we could um, and it looked like we had a lot of fast times and, and good performances. Um, to present any awards today will be our athletic director, Dan, Dan Dillingham. Um, and uh, we'll go ahead and get started with the uh, girls' results. We're going to do the team awards first. We'll announce the individuals. And we will announce the uh, ad qualifiers uh, that advance to state for uh, individuals. Keep in mind that these um, advancements are uh, unofficial. The KHSAA will make an announcement um, early in the week on who the official qualifiers are. OK, in fifth place. With a team score of 134 points, Meade County. In fourth place, with 129 points, Bowling Green. Our third place team, with a total of 81 points, is Barron County. And receiving the runner-up trophy with 68 points, Greenwood. Woo! For our award winners, uh, we ask you to come over to the bleachers. We'll get a picture of you over there. Any parents that want to go over there and get a picture, uh, please feel free to do so. Uh, girls, uh, girls, let's get a picture up here first, OK? Yep. Since the, the crowd's up here, we'll go ahead and get the picture here. Michelle, you want to be over there with your girls? Yeah. <laughs> All right, if you would, head over this way, OK? And our Region 2 Girls 3A champions with a total of 43 points, South Warren. Get your picture here so your so your family and all them can get that picture. <laughs> yep. If any parent wants to go over there and get a picture of the team on the bleachers there, that, feel free. Bailey. Coaches, if you want to be in there, head over. What? 
Okay, for uh, individual awards, uh, girls back there, individual awards are coming up too, so. We have, um, we have awards for the top eight uh, individual finishers. <laughs> In eighth place, with a time of 20 minutes even, from Greenwood, Claire Ellington. You can go to, yeah. Seventh place, uh, with the time of 1954, from South Warren, Riley Johnson. Sixth place with the time, I lost power. Good? Test, yeah. Okay, sixth place with the time of 1948 from South Warren, Haley Best. Fifth place. Also from South Warren with the time of 1940, Caitlin Best. Fourth place with the time of 1929 from Bowling Green, Katherine Harris. Our third place runner uh, 1852 from Barron County, Gracie Reed. Today's silver medal will go to Ohio County's Morgan Koblinski with the time of 1836. This side, this side. All right, today's gold medal winner and champion for the girls region 2-3A from Barron County with a time of 17.53 is Chesney McPherson. <laughs> All right, so once again, unofficially, we have the five teams, Meade County, Bowling Green, Barron County, Greenwood, and South Warren advancing as teams for individuals. This is unofficial, but for individuals, we're looking at the fifth qualifier from Grayson County, Ava Walker, <laughs> Central Hardin, Julia Hobbs, Ohio County, Lexi Hill, Julia is going to have a teammate from Central Harden, Hannah Grass, and Ohio County, Morgan Koblinski. Okay, the boys 2A uh, the boys 3A race. We have um, our top five teams. These are our qualifiers unofficially for the state meet. With 105 points, Grayson County. In fourth place, with 96 points, South Warren. Coming in at third, with 73 points, Central Hardin. And our runner-up team with 66 points, Greenwood High School. <laughs> hey guys. That's fine. <laughs> you have a seat, right? Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy the sun. <laughs> Good job, boys. Well done, fellas. Well done. Okay. And our Region 2 3A champs 
with 48 points, the young men of Meade County. Good job, boys. Good job. You guys will head this way for a quick picture. Top eight boys back there, listen for top eight. Our top eight individuals rece receiving awards today with the time of 1702 from South Warren, Smith Carter. There he is. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. The, sc the scores were adjusted. <laughs> the, it's got different numbers. All right. In seventh place, with a time of 1651 from Meade County, Fidel Garcia. Smith, scoot, scoot that way just a little bit. Yeah, that's it. And let's scoot back just a bit. We got a camera rolling. You guys want to be on camera, okay? <laughs> All right, Fidel. Fidel, look at me. In sixth place with a time of 1647 from Meade County, Lance Gardner. In fourth place, in fifth place, from Greenwood, Jacob Johnston, with a time of 1635. Anyway, I'm sorry, ladies. Sorry, I don't know where to be. <laughs> in fourth place, with a time of 1623, from Central Hardin, Jared Fairbanks. Good job, buddy. Good job. In third place, from Barron County, with a time of 1621, Brody Miller. <laughs> Our Region 2 3A boys runner-up, with a time of 1603 from Grayson County, is Houston Brooks. <laughs> And the Region, region 2 3A Boys Champion from Meade County with a time of 15.51, Mikey Carnell. Yeah. Hold tight, boys. Good job, Coach. Okay, thanks. All right, we have an announcement for the advancers to state for individuals. In... Um, in fifth, the fifth qualifier for state from North Harden, Kayla Bajarski. The uh, fourth qualifier from North Harden, Jesse Brewer. Third qualifier from Bowling Green, Simon Basham. Wow. The second qualifier from North Harden, Jason Bynum. And our final qualifier from Barron County, Brody Miller. Thank you very much. I hope you guys had a great time.
My name is uh, Coach Leland Wasser. I'm the head girls cross country coach at John Harden High School. We're at the Region Class 2A meet here in Bowling Green, Kentucky at Ethan White Park. Today I got two of my best runners, uh, Layla Williams and Brooke Swanson. Uh, we've been having a good year this year. Everybody done run PRs, and hopefully these two young ladies should make the state uh, today. So I'm going to ask you all how you think your season been going. Layla, you go first. It's been going pretty good. Um, I have a lot of mental hurdles to get over this season, so I'm trying to work on that. Brooke, how do you think your season is going? Um, I think it's been going really great. Um, I've been having problems a lot with my back, and um, hopefully that doesn't happen today. So I'm looking forward to regions and hopefully going to state. Uh, I'm Coach Hayes, the uh, head cross-country coach for boys and girls at E-Town High School. Uh, we're here today at the Region 2 uh, cross-country meet. Uh, we're getting ready to run. Got a few of my athletes here. I'm going to let them share who they are, a little bit about their season. Uh, I'm Cameron McCullough. I'm a senior at Elizabeth Town High School, and my season's been pretty good. I've consistently run about the same times, but I want a big PR today to try and qualify for state. Um, hi, I'm Anna Johnson. I'm an eighth grader. Um, this season has been really good. Some great PRs, and I hope it goes better going on. <laughs> I'm Harry Springsteen, a uh, freshman at Etown High School. This season for me has been it's been pretty good. I've had like one good PR and I stayed there for the rest of the season. And I think if I could just run that time today, I'll be happy. Uh, overall, we've had a, an outstanding season. Uh, these are just three of our athletes. Uh, we've worked extremely hard. Uh, we, as they've mentioned, we've had a lot of PRs, uh, but, but overall, we're pretty young. Uh, today, we're you know we're here trying to do our best to qualify for state. Um, we're hoping to get these three running next weekend and maybe even a few more uh, been able to run next weekend at the state meet. Uh, super proud of how hard my team has worked. Uh, we've battled through injuries. We've got some injuries going right now, uh, but we are really excited to get ready to start running today. Hi, my name is Jamie Harden and I'm the girls coach for Leary County High School. I'm here with Isabella Day, my number one runner on the team. Today, our girls executed our plan, going out and taking the team championship the first time in school history. We've had an exceptional season this year. Um, today, we had three girls in the top seven, which means they're all region as well. I believe that is the first time in school history that we've had three girls in the top seven on the regional team. Uh, my name is Isabel Day. I'm a part of LaRue County Cross Country, and I feel like this season has been a pretty good season. I feel like I've had a bunch of strong races, and I hope to continue this next year. I'm Tim Gross. I'm the boys coach at LaRue County High School, and uh, did did pretty well today. We did about where we, we needed to be. Had a good year this year. We worked on just being mentally tough and uh, peaking at the right time. And I think we did that today and, and proud of all my guys' effort, all of them from, from the, the first one all the way down through the seventh one today. They did, they did great. I'm Brock Gross uh, from LaRue County High School. I feel like I had a good season this year, still not done. Uh, looking to put some more work into my next sports. I'm Coach Vogel, John Harden High School, head boys coach, uh, cross country. I got Brendan and Lucas with me, uh, both my seniors. Wanted to make sure they, they had a good race today. They, they put it all out there, ran really well. Uh, Brendan came in second, I believe Lucas came in 15th. Actually, Lucas came in second for our team today. So he showed out as a senior, really proud of our team today. How the race went? Uh, today couldn't have gone, I mean, it's exactly where I wanted it to be, it's right there. I know what I need to do for state and just improve from here on out. Yeah, the race went pretty good. We didn't like take it out as hard as I thought we would. And then it got a little like weird in the middle. I was kind of alone, but then I worked my way back up and then found myself in 15th place. 
Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming out for the Region uh, Region 2A, Region 2 AA Championships. Um, we're going to announce the individual winners first. We'll announce the teams after that. Uh, those that are coming up for an award or teams, please stand over here for your pictures on the on the hillside here. That'll give the people in the back a little bit better view. Um, Remember, keep in mind all the uh, announcements we make here on advancements to state, they are unofficial, okay? These are the unofficial results. The KHSAA will announce the official qualifiers for the state meet um, this coming week, all right? So all announcements for advancements are unofficial. And we'll keep an eye on the barn there for everyone. And can, can everyone hear okay? Yep, all right. Okay, we're going to start with our ladies. Uh, top eight female runners will get uh, medals. And we're going to start off in 2205 from Bardstown, Cheyenne Overall. <laughs> Cheyenne, come right, right over here if you would. Oh, you can stand right next to me here. We'll just run, we'll run them that way, okay? Seventh place in 2204 from Taylor County. Madison Bertram. Sixth place in 2202 from Adair County, Brianna Hillock. That was a tight race, girls. Woo! Fifth place, 2157 from LaRue County, Mia Dennis. In fourth place, 2131, John Harden's Brooke Swanson. Good job, Brooke. Third place, 2048 from LaRue County, Ella Tucker. <laughs> Our girls runner up from LaRue County with a time of 1915, Isabella Day. Our Region 2 champion for the girls' AA race in 1855 from Thomas Nelson, Bailey Houghton. <laughs> Take your time, girls. It's your moment. We good? All right. Congratulations, ladies. <laughs> Shelly. Shelly. We move on to the individual qualifiers? Okay. Once again, the announcements for our individuals that are advancing to the state meet. This is unofficial results. Our fifth qualifier is from Elizabethtown, Juliana Johnson. Fourth qualifier, uh, Nelson County, Anastasia Britton. Adair County's Brianna Hillock. Oh, well, yeah, that's right, that's right. And uh, John Harden was our second qualifier, Brooke Swanson. And from Thomas Nelson, Bailey Houghton. Those are our unofficial qualifiers to advance to the state meet. All right, yep. Okay, and this read, uh, for this uh, class, we had so many teams entered. We're advancing six teams to the state meet. Um, in sixth place, with 126 points, Warren East. 125 points for fifth place, Breckenridge County. And still only a couple points more 
uh, less, 122 points for Bardstown in fourth. 88 points for Taylor County for third. And our runner-up for, for the girls region 2A, Allen County Scottsville, 79 points. Do we have any girls from Allen County Scottsville? Yes, come on up, ladies. Come up. Right up here, girls. Right up there, ladies. Is that the boys? Let me let me have that girl. She don't want that one. There you go. That's much nicer. I put them on the wrong side. That's right. Sorry. Well, the girls, that's fine. Yeah. Who's your champion? For the uh, LaRue County? Yeah. 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 43, they slaughtered it. Their girl was supposed to win it, but she got, she got beat. Yeah. Congratulations, ladies. Congratulations to our runner-up uh, team from LaRue County. Or Allen County, sorry. All right, the Region 2 AA Girls Regional Champions with 43 points, LaRue County. Woo! Right up here, ladies. Right up here, girls, on the hill. That way more people can see you. That sun is setting down over there. Congratulations, girls. Um, move on, the boys. What? It's supposed to get worse uh, for 3 o'clock, I think. We'll get these results back to Patty and Vicky because um, they're the signed official results. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> I just don't want anything to get this launched. All right, time for the fellas. We're going to go ahead and start with our individuals. Top eight boys will receive uh, medals. In eighth place, with a time of 1749 from Thomas Nelson, Will DeWitt. Right next to me, Will. Good job, buddy. Seventh place, 1729, Butler County's Ryder Harbaugh. Sixth place, with a time of 1711, also from Butler County, Case Hooten. Fifth place with a time of 1701, Allen County Scottsville's James Stanger. It's, it's Tyler. Fourth place with a time of 1653 from Butler County, Parker Smith. Third place with a time of 1641 from Thomas Nelson, Daniel Filatra. Is that right? Filiatru. Filiatru. My bad. <laughs> okay, our runner up for the Region 2 AA boys from John Harden with a time of 1524, Brendan Nagel. Good job, Brendan. And today's Region 2 AA champion from Thomas Nelson with the time of 1520, Riku Sugi. 
job. Good job, boys. Hang in there, boys. This pitcher will be gone before you know it. Take your time. All right. Congratulations, boys. Fantastic job today. All right. Time for our individual uh, advancers to the state meet. This is unofficial. Our fifth uh, advancer from Adair County, Jacob Boutte. Boutte. Bardstown's Alex Miller, Elizabethstown Cameron McCullough, from Breckenridge County Hendrick Coble, and our first uh, qualifier from Elizabethtown, Harris Springsteen. Congratulations. Boy, it's windy. There we go. Hey, just as the, on the ladies' side, we have six teams advancing to the state meet. Uh, with 108 points, LaRue County was sixth. Warren East in fifth with 103 points. 102 points for Butler County in fourth. Allen County Scottsville with 100 points in third. That's eight points for four teams. <laughs> and our runner-up for the boys Region 2 AA championship was 67 points, John Harden. Right up here, fellas. Nice job, guys. Yeah. Number five gets it done. Congratulations to our runner-up team, John Harden. Okay. Region 2 AA Boys Championship team with 42 points, Thomas Nelson. Yeah. Hop up high, guys. Get up on the hill so people can see you. <laughs> okay, that's good. That works too. Um, who, were, who was first in our. Our boys were second. Who, who finished first? Uh, boys were beaten by Meade County. And then on the girls' side, South Warren. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We, we knew coming in, those two teams were, that was kind of the high in the sky. It's not likely that they messed up. And then um, we were actually ranked third on both sides. Oh, but, we, really? but we knew that we had, if we ran smart, we'd, we'd do it. And yeah. both girls and boys ran it exactly like we asked them to. Good. And they took over in the end of the race. Yeah. They, they moved right when they were supposed to. That's awesome. So it worked out great. Yeah. Good. Good. Thank you guys very much for coming out. Hope you had a great time. Be safe.
Um, hi, um, I'm Mr. Brundage. I'm the cross country coach for the Fort Knox Middle School High School. And uh, even though it's a high school varsity team, because of our numbers, uh, we have middle school athletes on the team. And uh, guys, how do you feel about cross country this year? Fun. It's good. I it was it's good. better than what I thought it was going to be. It's something. It's more than it. Um, yeah. But it's been a really fun season, and this team has been a wonderful group of people to work with. You guys are amazing. Yeah! yeah. yeah. I'm Coach Randy Kennedy of North Harden Christian. We're based out of Radcliffe, Kentucky. Uh, this is some of my boys and girls that's have raced varsity this year. Actually, the girls, this is their first varsity meet, except for uh, one of the freshmen. The others are eighth graders and seventh graders. Uh, they did really good today. Uh, our boys, two of them are over there, come over here. Our boys, we may have a shot slide into that fifth slot today. We'd be super excited if we do, but I think I have maybe two boys that would go individuals if we don't make the team slot, and maybe one girl that go individual. so we're excited about that. Uh, season's been going really well. Uh, young crew, even the boys varsity are freshmen. So let, let me just ask a couple questions to some of the kiddos. How do you think to introduce yourself and how do you think season went? I am Jack Satterman, freshman, and this season was my first season with 5Ks, so that was a big step up, but um, I think it went pretty well. My PR with 17.55, I'm pretty proud of, and um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with my region's uh, performance. Can't wait for state. All right, and a man of many words, uh, we'll ask uh, Jack Silly what he thought about the season. Uh, I'm Jack Seeley. My PR is 19.24. Uh, same as Jack Satterman, first uh, year of 5Ks. It feels good to you know step up with the big kids, um, and yeah, I'm excited to get into the 18 range. Hopefully next year. All right, and then I'll ask uh, one of our girls. I don't see our our real varsity girl as far as a uh, freshman, but uh, one of our fastest runners is Maddie Bates. She's an eighth grader this year, and we ran her up and the rest of the eighth graders and some of the seventh graders up to varsity today, first time only this year. How do you think it went? Go ahead and introduce yourself too. I'm Maddie Bates, and the season went well this year. This was my first 5K, and I think I did really good on it. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we thank you for the interview. Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming out to the Region 2 Cross Country Championships for our single A class. We're going to start our awards. I'd just like to remind everyone these advancements to state are unofficial announcements. The KHSAA will uh, verify all results and they will make the official announcement. But uh, we will go ahead and give that information that we have today for those advancing as teams and as uh, advancing as individuals. We'll start the awards here with the girls race and we're going to do individuals first and then we'll do teams. Girls, when you come up to receive your award, if you would stand on this side of us over here, we'll line up the individual winners and get a picture of them. Uh, same with the team. The team will line up over there on that side as well when we call out the team awards. Can everyone hear me okay? All right. Move closer, please. <laughs> okay, individuals. The top eight girls are receiving medals uh, today. And in eighth place, in eighth place with a time of 22.56 from Greene County, Claire Goff. Yeah. Yeah. Line up right over here, Claire. Boy, she's happy. All right, uh, seventh place, 22.52 from Hancock County, Isabella Ross. Share to left. All right, sixth place, 2238 from Metcalf County, Emily Shaw. Woo! Our fifth place finisher from Owensboro Catholic with a time of 2213, Ainsley Sutter. Yeah! With a time of 22.04 from Owensboro Catholic, our fourth place finisher is Scarlett Eisenbarger. Yeah. 
And in third place with a time of 21.58 from Greene County, Ansley Bloyd. These were found. There's only one AirPod in it. I don't know if you want to make an announcement. Okay, I'm right after this one. And our girls, single A, Region 2 runner-up from Greene County with a time of 21.36, Riley Coffey. Your Region 2 single A champion from Owensboro Catholic with a time of 2025, Peyton Reed. Yeah! We have a pair of AirPods up here before we move on to the advancers. Um, so if you've lost your AirPods, uh, there's only one in it. That might help you clue in if it's yours. Make sure you come see us, okay? Individual advancers to the state meet. This is unofficial, as I stated. Uh, we have five qualifiers as individuals, and they are from Glasgow, Callaway Mackey, Edmondson County, Molly Johnson, Washington County, Avery Hamblin, North Harden Christian, Maddie Bates, and from Metcalf County, Emily Shaw. All right, we got, we got all the pictures here? Congratulations, girls. Good job. You're good. Good job, ladies. Okay. On the girls' side, we had six teams qualify for the state meet. Six teams is quite a bit. Good job for getting those girls entered. Um, our sixth place team qualifying for state with 154 points is Cumberland County. With 134 points, Fort Knox. Fourth place with 120 points, Hancock County. Our third place team with 100 points, Bethlehem. And our Region 2 Class A girls runner-up team with 38 points, Greene County. Come on up, ladies. There you go. Come on, parents, get over there and get them pictures. You guys, you take your time there, okay? I, I announced it once, so I'll announce it again. Yeah. Congratulations to our runner-up team, Green County. And our girls, Region 2, single-A champions from, with 28 points, Owensboro Catholic. Yeah! <laughs> watch out, Dan. Watch out, my man. <laughs> Take your time, girls. It might, yeah. I just want to see their times there. Yeah, yeah that's stiffer. Congratulations, Aces. Good job. Okay, we'll move on to the boys. Individuals. We had eight boys earning individual awards with a time of 1831 from Trinity Whitesville, Grant Howard. In seventh place with a time of 1825 from Edmondson County, Landon Frinich. Did I get that right, Landon? Okay. In sixth place with a time of 1809 from Edmondson County, Ashton Johnson.
Let's keep it with Edmondson County for fifth place, Tyler Brooks, 1740. Fourth place with a time of 1731 from Bethlehem, Jack Ballard. Coming in third with a time of 1725 from Greene County, Jaden Marr. That's a big boy. In second place with a time of 1649 from Bethlehem, Grant Greenwell. And our Region 2 Single A champion from Bethlehem with a time of 1632, Isaac Riggs. Okay, this is just a reminder, these are unofficial qualifiers that advance as individuals. Our five uh, individuals are from Hancock County, Noah Henson. Campbellsville, Wyatt Smith. Hancock County, Emmett Meserve. Hancock County, Hunter Stevens. And Cumberland County, Parker Shelley. Okay, on the boys' side, we had enough teams entered to qualify five teams through the... Hmm? All right. All right, everyone got pictures. Thank you, boys. Congratulations. Fantastic run today. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. <laughs> okay, we had uh, enough teams that we're going to advance five boys teams to the state meet. In fifth place with 126 points is Trinity. Fourth place with 122 points, North Harden Christian. Our third place team with 83 points from Greene County. And our Region 2 Single A Boys runner-up team with 79 points, Edmondson County. Come on up, boys. Over there, we want you guys on camera. You're going to be on TV tonight. You guys are close enough to see it. <laughs> uh, just a reminder, we did find some AirPods, so if you're missing your AirPods, show us that you can connect to them and they're yours. Okay, our boys, Region 2 Single A champions, with an awesome score of 31 points, the young men from Bethlehem. Thank you, Dan. It's a long day, man. We really appreciate it. Yeah, I've been tying that knot over and over today. <laughs> I'm gonna make one last uh, announcement there. So thank them. Yeah, I'll give these to Patty. Thank you everyone for coming out. I hope you had a great time and have a safe trip home. Okay. I'm coach uh, Jeff Scott with Greenwood High School. We've hosted the, the Region 2 um, meets today here at uh, Ephraim White Park. Um, I wanna thank everyone for coming out. We had a great day for our Gators, finishing second in both the girls and boys uh, 3A races. Um, and we've had uh, quite a few good performances uh, for the other local teams here in Bowling Green, including South Warren, with a first place finish in the girls 3A. Thank you for coming out. <laughs>